Afternoon everybody, we're going to be talking about parasitic drag. The three kinds of parasitic drag are form drag, skin friction drag, and interference drag. Form drag is a result of, of the turbulence caused by the separation of airflow from the surface of a structure. Okay, what that means is um, you have an airplane and it has uh, it takes up a certain amount of area and it's going to be going through uh, static air. Okay, the air, the air has mass and as it goes through it has to move those air molecules out of the way and it just it disturbs the air and that disturbance of the air causes drag okay so imagine it like um, like a, a semi um, when you're driving behind a semi if you get a little too close you can feel your car getting jostled side to side okay that's the the air coming from around the uh, the structure, the form of the semi, and going turbulent behind it, and and uh, and it pulls pulls on that semi. Okay, um, that is form drag. It's the moving of the air out of the way, basically, um, and the turbulence that results. And anytime you get a turbulent flow of air, you get drag. Okay. Skin friction drag, that's pretty simple. Um, think of a, a clean, uh, clean, nice, clean, nice painted, nice polished flush head rivet wing versus a dirty chipped paint uh, raised head rivet wing. The, the second one there that's going to cause a lot of friction between the wing and, and, uh, and uh, the, the air molecules. The, the first one, the nice clean, uh, uh, smooth wing, the air is going to just slip right over it. So there's going to be less drag on the nice, clean, smoothly polished flush head rivet wing versus the, the old beat up right wing. Um, An interference drag. Um, interference drag occurs when varied currents, currents of air over an airplane meet and <clears throat> interact. Placing two objects adjacent to one another may produce turbulence 50 to 200 percent greater than the parts tested separately. Okay, what do they mean by that? Well, right down here, just imagine this is a fuselage and this is landing gear coming out. Where these two parts meet, you get turbulent air in in those um, in those angular regions, and that anytime you get turbulent airflow, you get drag. So this turbulent airflow causes drag. The last thing we need to talk about uh, with parasitic drag is the drag equation. Okay, we're not really going to get into this. The only thing we're going to look at here is, is, um, pardon me, let me get rid of that. Is velocity squared? Okay, velocity when velocity doubles, you're going to increase your drag four times. Okay, since we're we're squaring the velocity, the the drag is going to increase four times because of that. Uh, and that's due to the equation of drag. Um, I don't know how to derive that. I just know that this is important. You need to know that. All right. And when you look at a um, a drag curve, you see it's a parabolic um, arc. You see this red line? That's the that's the drag curve. All right. So. If you go from 100 knots to 200 knots, you've increased your drag four times. All right, that's all you need to know about dra parasitic drag. Check out my other video on induced drag, and uh, thanks for watching.